Bacteria are everywhere. Where, you might ask? They can be found in the air, in water, in soil, and even on humans. Whoa! Don't worry, most bacteria are harmless. In fact, many are beneficial to us, such as those used to make fermented foods, like soy sauce, cheese, and pickles. However, not all bacteria are beneficial to us. For example, some cause food to spoil, to become stinky and discolored. It is not wise to serve spoiled food to your customers. A small number of bacteria are harmful and can cause foodborne illness. Harmful bacteria grow on potentially hazardous food. Examples of potentially hazardous foods are meat, milk, cooked vegetables, cooked rice, poultry, and seafood. Bacteria are too small to see with your eyes, or even with glasses. About 400 million bacteria clumped together would be the size of a grain of sugar. Because you cannot tell if bacteria are on food by seeing, smelling, or tasting it, food must always be handled safely from the time it is received until the time it is served. When bacteria grow, they increase in numbers, not size. Under ideal conditions, the number of bacteria can double every 30 minutes. Ideal conditions means when a potentially hazardous food is held between 41 degrees Fahrenheit and 135 degrees Fahrenheit for more than four hours. For example, if you start with 10 bacteria, after four hours, there could be as many as 5,000 bacteria in a food. Some types of bacteria form toxins or poisons. Not all toxins are destroyed during cooking. Therefore, if food is in the temperature danger zone between 41 degrees Fahrenheit and 135 degrees Fahrenheit for too long and toxins form, cooking or reheating to proper temperatures will not necessarily make the food safe to eat. The bacteria may be killed, but the toxins will remain. What can be done? Well, the best way to control bacteria is to promote good hygiene, allow only healthy workers to prepare food, and be sure to have all workers wash their hands properly and frequently. Prevent cross-contamination, store foods properly, and only use clean and sanitized utensils. Keep potentially hazardous foods hot, 135 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter, or cold, 41 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. And always cook foods to the proper temperatures. After cooking, food must be kept hot, 135 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter, or cold, 41 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. And remember, foodborne illness is nearly 100% preventable if food is handled safely in your restaurant.